You better drive. I can. What was his demeanor when he came back? arrived. It was a cold morning. It was December. Um, the police arrived and the house was almost burned to the ground already. And they rest the fire out. They started digging through the wreckage. And by the afternoon, they had come to the basement level of the house and they found Catherine's body on the floor. As for Catherine's killer, he and his fellow emergency medical technician had long gone. Oh. Novak and Sherwood drive back to his home in Nassau County. Michelle LaFrance has been waiting with his sleeping children. Novak had taken the precaution of giving them several stabs of Benadryl just to make sure they'd sleep through the night. The remoteness of Narrowsburg helped Paul Pena. Nobody had seen what had just happened, heard a thing, just like Paul had planned. He's up there in the middle of nowhere and nobody would know and nobody would see it and, you know. But to many locals, things right didn't up. After 15 I went yards, along right Main turn. Street and talked to some people that I knew. I think at the one of the turn shops, right. and I asked them if they had heard. And the person I was talking to said, oh yeah, everybody here is very suspicious about that. I remember picking up the phone and calling the state police and saying, you're aware, of course, that she was in, in a 
engaged in divorce? And he said yes. And that was the last I heard about it. But official investigators could not find cause to launch a murder inquiry. The pathologist investigating Catherine's death needed an accident, a result of debris falling on her body during the fire. And there were people in the um, state police and in the special Ooh. fire department here who suspected that that After was uh, not yards, accurate, turn left, but there was nothing they could do left. about it. Um, Paul passed a lie detector test. You have reached they your interviewed him. He had an airtight alibi. So I actually found out that they found the body. They told me that the body was found there, but they weren't sure if it was Catherine's or not. State investigators questioned Paul Novak several times, as well as Michelle LaFrance. She confirmed that he was home the whole night of December 12th and 13th. 